If you are holding your crypto on a public exchange right now, then you are likely at risk. So you need to watch this video. I'm gonna show you how this little device will help you take your crypto, your Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it might be, and get it into a safe external wallet that you control, that's yours, where you're protected. Keep watching. All right, welcome back. This is Joshua Talks Money. I share stories of personal finance. I built and sold a tech company, which taught me a whole lot about money. I share those lessons with you right here every week. Consider hitting the subscribe button. I'd love for you to be here for content like this moving forward. But let's talk about the crypto space. There's a lot of volatility. There's a lot of risk right now. If you just see the headlines, there are many exchanges that are freezing withdrawals, meaning that you cannot access and pull your crypto off of these platforms. You may never be able to because some of those companies are actually going bankrupt. There's going to be a lot of lawsuits and time for people to try to be made whole from companies that have went under. And if we take a look at Bitcoin's price, for example, you will see it's down almost 40% from its highs. Take something like Coinbase, probably the largest uh, exchange out there. That company is down over 70% in the last year. And I own a lot of stock in Coinbase, so I'm in a lot of pain right now. But what would be more painful is having your crypto on one of those exchanges and then no longer being able to access it. Do not let that happen to you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the Ledger Nano X. I've done an entire video, you can watch it. This is where you walk through setting up the device and even installing the app on your iPhone. But a lot of you have reached out and said, Josh, I need to know how to get my crypto off of Coinbase Pro onto the Ledger Nano, which is a good question because actually Coinbase Pro is shutting down. Coinbase is going to consolidate into a single platform right on Coinbase. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this from the Coinbase Pro mobile app, at least for right now. All right, you're going to launch their iPhone app and be greeted with a markets screen. This is where it's showing basically the latest prices of some of the top cryptos on the platform. Then you're going to navigate over to that pie chart icon, which is basically your portfolio. There up top, you're going to see a nice big button that says withdraw. I want you to tap that button. You should then see a list of cryptocurrencies where you will select which one you would like to move off of Coinbase Pro. I selected Bitcoin, and that then takes me to another screen, which gives you two options. Do you want to move this to some external uh, other address or do you want to move it just over to Coinbase? And in this case, you are going to select to move it to another address. Okay, and now you'll be greeted with the screen where you enter that address and it gives you some of the calculations of how much money you're actually moving off the platform. But this is where the Ledger Nano comes in. So now we need to fire this thing up and get this ready to give us that address where we can send the crypto. All right, so next up, I'm going to turn on the Ledger Nano device. There, I will enter in my passcode, and then I will launch the Ledger app on my iPhone. All right, so there it is, and if you don't have the app, I have a video all about setting this app up. And right in the middle, there's this big white button that's basically a transaction button. So you're gonna tap that, and you're gonna see a few different options sending, receiving, swapping, and obviously here we want to receive. So go ahead and tap the receive button. Okay, next it's going to ask what you are trying to receive, which crypto, I selected Bitcoin. And then the next step is to pair your phone with the Ledger Nano device. So this is happening over Bluetooth. These are connecting, follow the prompts on the device, and you'll basically be able to connect that fairly quickly. Next up, you're basically going to see a address and a QR code on the app. And this will correspond with a address that's displayed on the screen of the Nano. And what you wanna do is make sure that those addresses indeed match and you are going to confirm that they do. Once you confirm that the addresses do indeed match, you will copy the address to your clipboard over on the Ledger app. You will jump over to Coinbase Pro and now you'll have an address of which you can paste into the recipient field on that app. From there, Coinbase Pro will verify that this is indeed a valid address to receive this crypto, and you can continue on with the process of adding how much you'd like to send to that address and go through the confirmation flow. One of the last steps is that Coinbase Pro will actually ask for an authentication code. I had to use a Google Authenticator app, which basically has a rolling six-digit pin, and that will be uh, used to verify the device put into the Coinbase Pro app 
and that will be the last step of authentication to complete the transfer. Great, okay, just make sure everything looks okay on your screen and hit the withdraw button at the bottom. That may load for a moment and then finally take you to a confirmation, hopefully, <laughs> that says that your transaction is on the way or pending or, or in process. Now for me, this actually took maybe an hour to go through. And I was a little nervous because the whole point of this is it's supposed to be pretty instant. These transactions occur, there's some network uh, activity that takes place, and then the Bitcoin or crypto will move almost instantaneously to whatever wallet you're sending it to. And so this got me a little nervous thinking, man, is this going to be stuck in limbo on Coinbase? And I've actually seen a lot of stories on Twitter of people saying, hey, I tried to send my money over here, it's stuck, you're ignoring me, what do I do now? And I did not want that to happen. So uh, thankfully, about an hour went by and my Bitcoin then showed up into the Ledger app. And so if I can talk through my process and recap this, I buy Bitcoin through Coinbase. And it takes a few days to where I'm able to withdraw that. For now, hopefully they don't freeze withdrawals as well. But once I'm able to withdraw it, I will immediately send it over to the ledger so that I have access to those keys and to that crypto directly. I'm not at risk of uh, Coinbase or any other uh, platform holding or, or freezing my money uh, the way that some people have when they just leave it there uh, exposed to hacks, uh, bankruptcy, and other risks. All right, and before you go, do you think Bitcoin is dead? Is crypto dead? Will, will this sector ever recover, or was this one big bubble and fad that we'll laugh about in the future? Let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to hear it. If you want to know what I think, I'll respond in the comments. Okay, short and sweet, I hope this was helpful. Hey, I put out videos like this every single week. I'd love for you to consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share it with a friend, and I will see you soon.